good morning. Welcome to Bristol. Come a little bit further than we uh, have done of recent uh, days today, recent times. Anyway, we got off that one just there, that Voyager from uh, um, Birmingham, because I changed it to Derby and Birmingham just to kill an hour to get some uh, food. So yeah, we come from Leeds and Cottingley, of course, quite early. And uh, so what we plan to do today is to have a look at Coombe Down Tunnel on the Farmer s d line, since you can walk through it. It's one of the longest tunnels you can walk through quite legitimately. So let's switch cameras. Right, so yeah, just got off that one and we're heading to this train here now, which is a uh, first Great Western, or rather Great Western Railway in the old, the old first Great Western colours. It's going to Weymouth, but we only want two stations, Oldfield Park. Let's get on it. Right, just leaving Bristol Temple Leeds now, heading back the way we came, very briefly. There's a network rails track recorder there. So what else has there been down here now? 2009 springs to mind. I wasn't expecting a unit like this actually, I was expecting um, a 150 at best, possibly even a Pacer. But uh, this is pretty good. So just two stops with this one and then we'll walk over to Freshford from Oldfield Park. So that's the main route to the north and to uh, on London as Spudge. You can, you can go that way via Bristol Parkway to Paddington but it's mainly for the north and south Wales. Just coming up to Keensham now. Done well with the weather. Here we are. Still require this. Stuff. We are now approaching Kingston. Yeah. So you know, it's a bit loud. Is that announcement? Still require this station, but we can't do it today. Right, here we are. Oldfield Park. <laughs> well, Bath is only about a mile down there, but anyway, we are uh, going to head off up there shortly when the train's gone. Right, so this is 166202 on the service to Weymouth. It's a bit of first class there, doesn't it? There's what looks like an express coming through the other side now. So we'll just hang on and see that pass through. Just stopping here. That's the mainline service. That's the Great Western service. Yeah, here we are. Very similar to Trans Pennine and uh, LNER. Right, let's exit the station. Just one thing we need to do before we leave here, and that's Oldfield Park. Tick. The station scored. Let's go out now and walk uh, through Coombe Down Tunnel and over to Freshford. Do it. Right, we just walked up the ramp here now. Look at the station. I mean, the the bridge here, sort of a bit ecclesiastical, like a sort of Roman arch type thing. It is. Anyway, let's walk down to the right now, down here, and then we'll get eventually onto the old alignment of the line from Bath Green Park, as it was. Right, this is what we're after, two tunnels greenway. So it's up to the left. Not sure whether there actually would have been a level crossing here or a bridge or not, but uh, obviously it's all been built over. 
So it's up that path just there. And it is four miles to Midford, Tootles Greenway. So let's, uh, oh, what's this here, Linear Park? Just pause that if you want to read any of it. Okay, so up here, we'll go to Midford and then across to Freshford. Been climbing a bit now, so I imagine there was probably a bridge back yonder. And this is going to be the bridge over the main line, what we've just used. So if you look over this way. That's looking back towards Bristol. That's looking towards Bath. Right, not sure how far it is to the nearest tunnel, but we'll soon find it, I'm sure. It is more appropriate for a cycle ride, is this, but when up. Well, I've got a bike, but I couldn't be bothered bringing it. Just come from down that way, and there's a bridge here over this road that's been reinstated for the footpath. So, this is quite good, is this? Can't see a lot that side though. Hi. Somebody replied there, said hi to a few people, and he just completely ignored me. Can't understand it. Anyway, let's keep going now. The first tunnel is Devonshire Tunnel. Right, we've just come under this bridge here. If this is the track bed that we're on now, exactly the track bed, it's quite a climb. It is. No wonder they didn't get overcome in those tunnels with smoke in the glorious days of steam. There's another access path just there. Let's keep going. Right, we're not far off the tunnel now. The first one, just past this bridge. Yeah. Tunnel is straight ahead. And this is Devonshire Tunnel, I think. Oh, this can't be. Can it? Hi. Two tunnels green. This looks like a real bike. It's like a switchback. It's incredible if this is a real track bed. It's not been raised. So obviously heading the opposite way now is going to be uphill through the tunnels. Or at least this one anyway. Let's uh, let's get inside. It's not very long in this one, it's only a couple hundred yards or so. Uh, it should be lit up at this time of day. It is. Oh it's dark in here. Take my glasses off, it might help. Somebody. Somebody's pretending to be a train, aren't they? Yeah, chuff, chuff, chuff. Wouldn't be working hard downhill, would you? It's, gone up, it's going uphill again now, look at the gradient. That's looking back. It's that little green light again, I don't know what the heck it is. This is someone else coming towards us now on a bike. Coming down the bank. Hey, this is really cool, is this? In more ways than one. Cool, trendy and cool because it's colder than it was outside. Right, we're coming, coming out of this tunnel now. Let's say it's only two or three hundred yards long, is this? It's not very long. 
but it would still have been a struggling steam days. It would. Right. Out into daylight. Oh, it's warm and sultry again. The CCTV as well on it, so you can see who's going in and who's not. Right, that's the first one. A bit shorter. Let's continue. Yeah, so that was Devonshire Tunnel. And if you want to read any of that, just pause it. You can see here how they've reopened it, can't you now? Ooh. Looks like it was well and truly bricked up there, doesn't it? So, yeah, it's just a shame it's not a live railway still. That would be even better still, wouldn't it? Of course it would. Right, we're coming up to the big tunnel now, Coombe Down. It's just around this next corner. And this one's uh, just over a mile in length. So we're gonna be underground for about 20 minutes, near enough. Might just time it and see how long it takes us to get through here. Interesting shape of a bridge, is that? Thought they might have been wide enough for a section of double track just here, but looking at that bridge again, I don't think it is. Still single track. This is it. This is Coombe Down Tunnel. Looks like there's a bit of a viaduct just here. Some people will have a look off each side, <laughs> if we can. Can't see much down there. Or down that way, never mind. Right, this is the big daddy of them all. Here we are, this is a signboard. Let's have a look at this. Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway. So you can see what route it took there. It's just a crying shame it doesn't still exist. South Portal now, North Portal, that's where we are here now. Okay. So, some more cyclists are heading in. Right, let's go, let's do it. Right, she's looking back. We've just come in now into Coombe Down Tunnel and uh, I've set a stopwatch. So we'll see how long it takes us to get through now because this is over a mile. It's probably the longest tunnel you can legitimately walk through on a walkway like this. I would strongly suspect. It's over a mile long, guys. But I get the feeling that we're actually on a falling gradient now, slightly. Feels like it. This is looking back. See, it's a bit of a curve there now. And this is looking forward, which is fairly straight now for the next uh, few hundred yards. It says reduced lighting in here though, as we came in. I don't know just where that's gonna be, but this looks pretty reasonable. music can't you? Oh. It's a refuge but as I that's it. Interesting. Another one there. 
like violin music. <coughs> Not past any ventilation shafts yet, but uh, from what I've been led to believe, there isn't any. The only ventilation you've got with this is either end. So, I can understand how some train crew were overcome by the smoke. Especially with only been a single track width tunnel as well. Ten minutes in now, so we should be run about halfway. Past quite a few cyclists. We have. It's having difficulty focusing because it's. Uh, not very well lit. Yeah, if they did this to Queensbury Tunnel in Bradford, my word, it would be just fantastic. Hi. 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 Somebody coming up behind us. Go for it. I can see daylight. We've done well here. I expected at least 20 minutes in here with it being just over the mile. But uh, I think quarter of an hour will be the time. So looking back, you can see it curves to the left. And let's keep going and get out. I got a little dog going through as well. brickwork at the top there where the smoke has constantly hit it from steam engines and the walls are all sooty as you know what as well and yes I did check oh here we are <coughs> looks like it can be locked out if they want to for any reason Woo! Daylight. That is some tunnel. And again, you've got CCTV to check on safety and all that. So yeah, that's great, is that? Comb down tunnel. Right, let's continue to Midford. See if we can get some grubbage. I don't think there's any more tunnels now. If they are, they're in the little ones. Hmm. Under the hill. Oh, that's might be a bit. I can still see it. Yeah, we're just there, so it's just come out. So there's a viaduct ahead. Hmm. So yeah, we're here. Yeah. Right, let's continue. It's all grown up though, it's trees here, you can't you really get a, what, they get a feel of what it was like in the 60s, 50 odd years ago. Strongly suspect this gate here is for maintenance access, is it? I don't know, maybe not. No, that's why it's locked, private land. Right, and this is going to be the viaduct now. I 
This looks wide enough for double track for sure it does. That was like a little lake or something down there. Wasn't it? Can't see anything from the opposite side though, I don't think. Or can we? It's a bridge for trains. Oh. It's a viaduct. Yeah. Right, so it's private no access here, or Midford Castle, that's probably what that is up there then. Did just wonder. Hmm. Anyway, we came down that way, so the tunnels are back that way. We're going this way now, so Midford is not very far. Then we'll walk over to Freshford, hopefully get on the train back there again to wherever we're going to go. Right, it's not exactly a tunnel, but it's just a road that crosses at an angle. So, I suppose it could be considered a tunnel, but much shorter than the others. Hi. Hang up, there's a dog at speed. Hi. Hello. That has to be the cheeriest hello I've had for some time. It's only a couple of yards now just to Midford on here. Not very far. Oh, what's left of it? Midford Station, I take it. Oh, yeah, that's oh, what's Let's walk onto the platform. I think it became double track after this station, but I'm not 100% sure. So, looking back, and then obviously down here, there was a signal box here because obviously, it was, from what I remember seeing, it was double track further south and they had to collect a token and they used to do it at speed there was a machine that had like an arm that hung out with a token on it and the train just grabbed it as it went past and of course vice versa as they were going the other way it dropped it off so <coughs> mm -hmm. oh we've got the gap that's lovely that was nice Oh, here's a signboard here, look at this, Midford Station. Oh, well, that's where we are there. Midford Station. Mm -hmm. Yes, I filmed the Titfield Thunderbolt here. Oh, you've got it here, here, here. Years ago. 1953, and it was colour as well, amazingly enough. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, shot, I've seen quite a few times. So the uh, the low level line, I think, which is where the Titfield Thunderbolt was, was somewhere just down there. So let's keep going and have a look at it. This line crosses it. Oh, I think we'll nip down there shortly. So this is the viaduct. So we'll just walk across briefly. Can't really get to see where that other railway went underneath. Right, we'll leave going any further south now, down that way, for another time. We need to really head over to Freshford now for the next reasonable train. But I want some food first, because I'm starving. Don't forget what time I had breakfast. 
about half past six. Yeah, it's uh, double track width is this viaduct for sure, whether it carried it. I don't know. But the, uh, the other line, I think where the Titfield Thunderbolt was filmed, went off somewhere down there where that line of trees is. Just, back just to the other side of that house. It's difficult to see, it's so overgrown. It's not really a path in that line. Right, let's try the Hope and Anchor at Midford. Let's see what we can see what's on the menu. Right, that was very nice. Not absolutely outstanding, but it was certainly very good. We had steak and ale pie. Anyway, let's get over to Freshford now and get back on the train, okay? Right, I've just noticed this here, Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway trains to Bath and Bournemouth. And uh, whatever, let's get rid of the insects. So you can see the, the timetable from whenever that was, 1949, oh, crikey, 70, 71 years ago. Right, anyway, let's uh, continue now down this way <coughs> onto some paths now and uh, head for Freshford. Might be able to see the viaduct from, from the roadside now, you will. Very popular spot. Yeah, that's the viaduct. Long time since a bullied Pacific has gone across there. So I better just um, make sure we know we're going now, which I think it'll be down this way. We could have come out this way. Uh, could have come out there, I think. That hasn't been used for a while, that telephone box, I think, has it? And this is the remains of the Tickfield Thunderbolt line. Just here. There was a river. Not swimmable, I don't think it'll look deep enough. But this is where they filmed the Tickfield Thunderbolt now on this line that went underneath. <coughs> the S&D You can see the abutments where the bridge was It's not been made into a footpath on that one yet If it ever does get the same treatment It'd be great if it did Right, we've just come from the right there We're heading up this path up here now this is going to be quite a steep path for some distance now. This is quite a significant hill to go over here. <coughs> Still, it's fairly easy. There's a set of steps there. wonder where that leads to. I haven't time to find out now though. I think you could just about get a car up here, but a bit rough. Maybe a four wheel drive. Nice shot here of the castle again, which I think we passed earlier, coming out of Coombe Down Tunnel. That's pretty good. Fantastic views. 
Hang on, let's keep going. Nice view on this side as well. Look at that. Right, it's looking back there. We've just come from the left down that way. That right turn's not a his private property. So just because it was a field. So let's continue down here. The tough climb's finished with now, so it's fairly easy now. Just gently undulating. But there should be a big a big drop, I think, down to Freshford. I think we come to the village of Freshford before we get to the station. But we shall see. No great rush. Right, we've come to the end of the path now, or the road that's sort of used as a path, and through here, down this road. Looks like there's another path across there, but don't know where that goes. Not where we want, anyway. Oh, this is really quaint, isn't it? It's off the quaint scale. Pear tree? Is that a pear tree? Looks like it. It's not near Derby though, is it? Is that apples or something? Or whatever. You know, like apples, don't they? Right, we just walked from over that way, from the right. I was going down, down that path just there, but uh, we would lose this nice view across here, which is absolutely fantastic. Just look at that quintessentially English little church, quaint houses, green fields. This is just so unspoiled. I absolutely love it. I can recommend a visit to Freshford and Avoncliffe without any doubt at all wasps aside oh there's a car coming yeah I expect to be down there actually but anyway it's just as well we've come up here because we've got a cracking view in fact so much so we're gonna have five on this seat here we'll have five right we're on the move again and we're gonna head now to a Freshford train station. And it's this side that we want if we're going towards Bristol. So we should be able to get the 1459. We've got just under half an hour to walk, possibly three quarters of a mile, mile at the most. I've enjoyed it, it's been great today so far. So we could still do um, Coombe in Oxfordshire, but again, I'm not 100% sure of that. Might be a case of getting off at Coombe rather than getting on it, and I'd rather get on there if I can. down here right we just come down the hill there and look what's here station road so it's a station so all right so it must be down here it's only a little station is this I think it might just be big enough for a 153 single car unit that sort of, uh, but might be the same sort of thing we just come off earlier, 166. But we'll see. When it was worked by Wessex trains, most of them were 150s on this route. Ritz 
station a new favorite station this is just unbelievable we've got to get a couple of shots here haven't we yeah great western service just look at that for a shot Right, unfortunately, the next train towards Bristol is ours. So we'll have to walk onto the station to uh, to get on it. Can't they wait there? So I'm not sure you're going to stick your hand out for the trains here at Freshford. Anyway, it's been a great walk. It's been lovely weather, hence no top. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, I've enjoyed it. It's been great. Let's uh, get to the station now and wait for the train. About 10 minutes or so, just over, maybe 10, 11 minutes. Okay. And here it is, the station, Freshford. Oh, there's even a little car park. <laughs> this platform for Bath and stations to Bristol over the bridge for West Risolesby Weymouth, yeah. Look at the old fashioned, there's a, a more modern station sign there. There's even a foot crossing. Although I'm not so sure you're supposed to use that actually. Which means it is a yellow tick station because you've got step free access to what we've just done. Unless you're actually allowed to use that crossing. It might be. So it may could be green tick in that case. It looks like they've extended the platform. Uh, not too long a work long back. Oh somebody's been shopping over there, look of it. Shading. Mm. So it'll be fresh for the tick in a few minutes when the train gets here. Let's have a look at the new bit of platform. This is just so quintessentially English, it's just incredible. And that is an old Great Western sign that from GWR days. Love it. Right, there's a freight train here now. 66 is it, I think. It certainly is, Freightliner 66. And look at the location. This is absolutely crack on. The only thing that could beat this is steam now. There's a unit due the other way very shortly. service heading for Gloucester via Bristol. If I can run down and get on this one I'm gonna do because there's other people getting on it. Look at that for a shot. Let's do this. We got the shot and we got on the train. Fresh for a few moments ago, we're heading up to Bathampton Junction now. Or oh, is that down to Bathampton Junction? But this part of the line, up on the other side really, because the river's on the other side.
fantastic scenery here. Just coming up to the main line now from Paddington and Swindon. Which is obviously on the opposite side. Just leaving Oldfield Park now. This is where we started from. Walking, it was. <laughs> right, we just come in and out at Bristol. I've just switched sides so that I'm facing again. And uh, we're going to go back towards Gloucester now, which has been going back as it were the way we came. So we'll get off at Bristol Parkway and uh, see what we get from there. So it's a four track section is this uh, next bit now around here. It was only two track last time I did it years ago. Right, just arriving at Filton Abbey Wood. We've been here before. A few years ago, I think we parked here and then got a train to Bristol to do a steam tour if I remember rightly. This is the old Filton station now, which was only got platforms on the lights for Newport. Never any platform, well not, not as long as I've known it. Might have been years ago, but... So it was a very rarely served station, was the old Filton station. Looking across that side, there's... Uh, football fields and all sorts over there. Come around this curve now towards Parkway, we should see the line that goes comes straight across from the Seven Beach line. Somewhere down here. Thought they might have electrified Temple Meads as well as and Bath as well as the South Wales line. Slightly surprising is that. Now this looks like it here now. Yep, yeah, this is it. That's the line that goes straight through to St Andrews Road. It's got a shine on it as well, so it looks like it's used. Anyway, we're coming up to Parkway now, going back down the main line to South Wales next. Right, welcome to Bristol Parkway. I know we started at Temple Maze, but we'll keep going now with the, with the videos uh, as long as the camera is working on the phone. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we'll uh, switch cameras. Well, we just got off this one from uh, Freshford. 165, 130. I'm going to go over the other side shortly and go on uh, an express through the Seven Tunnel to uh, Newport. Then we'll go back home via the Welsh Marches, hopefully. Right, he's got the tip now, so let's uh, see it go. We'll cross over to the side. Quite good, the Thames Turbos. Right, this is our next train. We're just going one stop through the Seven Tunnel with this one to Newport. And we'll work out what we're going to do from there. Probably go via Hereford and Shrewsbury to Piccadilly, as in Manchester. We'll see. And it's on the wires as well now. It's all overhead wired. Right, that's the main line to Temple Meads, heading off down that way. And that is the line across to Seven Beach Line. We've built a depot of it, look of it here now for these new trains. Can't really see much though, of course. Right, we're not far off Pilding now, which is uh, one of these very limited service stations. That's it, that's the platform that's used. The other side's disused. So the next stop now will be Seven Tunnel Junction once you get into Wales. There's a freight on the opposite side, huh? 
in the loop. That was my iPad, by the way. So we're coming up to the seven tunnel now. Not sure if it's going to switch to diesel power or if they've got wires to the tunnel or not. What I've just been led to believe. <coughs> this is it. This is the big daddy of them all. Seven tunnel. Oh no, but not that one. No, that's a, that's a, right, the next one is. That's the very short one just before. So we're going all that fast. Right, this is the seven tunnel. Yeah. Right, this is our next route coming in here now. So they've wired it a little bit here as well, don't it? That's the line to Hereford. I'm going up there shortly. So shortly, a few minutes, half an hour or so. So we're just coming into Newport now, over the bridge, over the river. And the tide is low. It can get quite high, can that? Right, I'm to Newport. Uh, wonder where this one's going on the left. Gloucester. No, we don't want that one. So we just got off that one there from uh, Bristol Parkway. And I think we want the, it might have to be platform for, for Hereford and Manchester and whatnot. We'll still see. Right, this is our next train now. 17.03 from here to Manchester Piccadilly. It's from Carmarthen. Let's get on it. We're actually leaving Newport now. And I thought uh, Great Western had actually stopped using 125s, but there's one there. They've got modified doors as well, unfortunately now. You can't knock the slam doors and heads out the windows. very low. Right, here we are, this is the main line now, going straight over to Gloucester in the seven tunnel. We're going to bear left. here as well but not the curve that's the curve it avoids Newport it's very convenient little curve there right this is um, Pontypool and Newin I think yep Pontypool and Newin island platform unexpectedly I you have stopped here before Still need it, of course, but we haven't got time to get out and get next train. Not doing that now. Going straight home. Back Just leaving Abergavenny now. And the platform on the other side's a bit longer. Possibly. Oh no, I think it is. Now arrived at Hereford. So we'll keep going, see how long the camera lasts. It's uh, one of its last legs now. That's the crossover and that's the junction. Now that's the single track across to Ledbury and uh, Great Malvern and Worcester and Birmingham ultimately. So we'll see Dinmore Tunnel shortly on different 
alignments now because we're approaching Dinmo tunnels. It's a single track tunnel for each line. So we're well into the journey now from Newport. Leominster pronounced Lemster apparently. Right, we're now coming into Shrewsbury. And I'll end the video here because the battery is literally on its knees now. This is the curve that goes onto the Wolverhampton line. It's not heavily used bit. You'll see the largest mechanical signal box shortly. Seven Bridge Junction. Which is that there? It's the biggest one in the country. I'm amazed it hasn't been replaced yet. But the thing is, it works perfectly well, there's nothing wrong with it. You can find the 153, there's for the Art of Wales line. Anyway, this is Shrewsbury. I'm going to end the video here now because uh, I think it must have gone on long enough by now. So, yeah, Shrewsbury will continue to Manchester and then go home, possibly via Leeds, certainly Huddersfield, maybe Leeds as well. And uh, see you in the next video. So, cue music. Bye for now.